reprehensible and sickening. Those were the words used by LMPD in 2022 after two officers pleaded guilty to violating the rights of citizens through arbitrary use of force. It's our top story today at four. I'm Alex Dieterer. Both detectives no longer work for LMPD. These two men you see right here, Kurt Flynn and Brian Wilson, admitted to throwing drinks at people while on the job. Both pleaded guilty to federal charges of violating civil rights while working in West Louisville. Now, years later, we've obtained video from the infamous slushy gate through an open records request. Our Jim Stratman has been going through those videos today. A lot has changed since August of 2018. The first time that LMPD officers recorded themselves throwing drinks on residents. Still, the video is quite shocking and it does shine a light on the department and the city as they work to negotiate a consent decree. That's the fam! The actions of officers caught on video throwing drinks on citizens who were simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. Laughing at the outcome. The Department of Justice said that between August 2018 and September of 2019, two former LMPD officers, Brian Wilson and Kurt Flynn, violated the rights of citizens they were sworn to protect through actions like this. Up against the building. Oh, she's <laughs> Don't miss. two pleaded guilty in 2022. Wilson was sentenced to two and a half years in prison while Flynn was set to serve three months. That is a unacceptable set of incidents that happened years ago before the chief was chief or even on LMPD and before I was mayor. In the wake of the video being released, Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg spoke to our Isaiah Kim Martinez about where the department was at the time and where he believes it's heading. We are focused on improving the culture of LMPD, where we proactively work with community, where we build trust with the community, and we want to have an LMPD that everyone trusts and respect. And so we are focused on a very different way of training. Uh, we've improved focus on supervision. Uh, incidents like that will not be tolerated by Chief Gwyn Billeroel or myself. Remember, it was that kind of culture that led to the department and the city entering into a consent decree negotiation with the Department of Justice. Now, in that sit down interview with Mayor Greenberg, the mayor said that the city has still not received the first draft of that consent decree. Reporting in Louisville, Jim Stratman, WHAS 11 on your side. In response to the videos being released to the public, LMPD released a statement saying, quote, the incidents are a painful part of LMPD's history. For context, the individuals responsible for throwing the drinks faced federal prosecution and others that were involved are no longer employed by LMPD and or have been disciplined. The department has implemented reforms that emphasize constitutional policing while rebuilding community trust.